I have to admit, I was pretty shocked by that community transmission yesterday. One new mode, a few new skins, and a reused map was all we got. The disappointment after reading that was pretty strong. But later I discovered there are a few more things going on in the next update which should help the game and lift our spirits slightly. I mentioned that I'm sure there's more to it and content wise for May at least there really isn't. But gameplay wise there has been some confirmations from Ben the community manager on Reddit for some heroes getting fixes, buffs and nerfs like Palpatine and Luke. Luke is said to be getting better damage and range on some abilities and there also should be a few improvements to other lightsaber heroes in the patch as well. So there is more to the next update than just content, they're also working on balancing it more to make it more enjoyable. Good to hear as we are getting that new heroes vs villains mode and we need some balance and fixes before it's implemented, especially in these modes. So far we only really know what will be coming in May and content wise it looks just alright. To tell the truth we were expecting a flood of content after the new progression system was implemented and that hasn't happened and still doesn't look to be happening at least not until June. Further to that point, what will we get in June? Any new heroes to tie in with the solo film? Maybe some new weapons as teased earlier on in the game. Well it's time to turn to recent leaks. DICE won't give us a roadmap and we can't get any straight answers so let's turn to a Redditor by the name of Martiger434. Many people didn't believe him when he first posted these details but since the transmission every detail he specified has been proven true. So now I'm going to take his post as the truth and share the details with all of you. To note, Martiger himself wasn't the one to source this info, it was sent to him by someone else who has access to this information. With that said, let's get straight into it and start with a point about future seasons. They do not have a roadmap. Things change a lot so they focus on small modes to catch your eyes, earn time to finish the map Geonosis. So that's a confirmation there, we will be getting Geonosis. He said you will have to wait a lot more time, maybe three months from now until we get it going live. They want to make it epic and worth the wait. There will be some badass skins for, it says Grievous here but I think he means Geonosis because he says some that were already posted here. It's going to have phases, it won't just be an open space desert as some of you suggested. You should be able to think of what will be one of the game phases based on the movie. Not sure if he means the Clone Wars Episode 2 or the animated one. So straight from the start there we have some info that we've wanted for a while now. The answer to what Clone Wars map will we be getting? Geonosis. The details that confirmed this info to be true was that he said we would be getting new modes and this is very specific here. HVV 2v2. I don't think anyone could have just predicted that. Starfighter on arcade, HVV on Starfighter so that's yet to come, more multiplayer strike maps, some for blast, some for racing, and I now know that racing mode will be a limited time event in the future. More skins for heroes, some really legendary ones like the Lando Skiff and Leia Bausch costumes. So we know we're getting them now as well. So many of those details were proven true in yesterday's transmission. He said this a few days before the transmission was even put out. Now the next part directs us to the unfortunate truth surrounding Battlefront 2. The devs are eager to share info with you but they are not allowed to do so. The only way they could say something important is by receiving approvals by producers and others. Unfortunately the sad story that happened with 2015 will repeat again. The devs are moved to another project due to another big title launch. This time a AAA game with at least the high expectations from the last time. The two studios that worked for the game, Criterion and Motive, are not working anymore with the game for a few months already. The only studio that is managing it right now is DICE and only DICE. One of the studios is already with Battlefield 2 for a while. The questions about bugs are usually avoided with a simple we're looking into it or we are aware of the situation without a certain fix. Their database is incredibly full of unsolved bugs that are there since the beta stage and are aging well, they will probably be ignored forever. What you can do about this is to make fuss about the bugs you want to be fixed, continue to pressure the devs, give them a good explanation of how the bug happened because the devs are not experienced enough to know where to look in the code for an easy fix. And if they can't deal with it fast, that bug is probably going to be pushed away for later patches. 
So the main thing I take from this statement is that Criterion is no longer working on the game, and as designers of the Starfighter Assault mode, I can't see us getting much more content there, unless DICE do it themselves. Here he is telling us that most of the focus has shifted over to the new Battlefield game. He went on to say that the devs pay close attention to the Reddit, looking through posts and taking inspiration from you. We often won't get answers to the things we want though, because the original Reddit backlash that took place. You guys may remember the legendary Pride and Accomplishment post. He said they can't afford another cataclysm like that. He followed this by saying next patch will come next week, then probably a month later, Season 2. He said this before we got the news yesterday of course. He went on saying, this one might be tough. But, and here's quite the statement guys, there will be no new heroes, no new weapons, no new vehicles, and no new star cards. Now, the problem I have with this statement is that we have already seen other leaks, and they have said that four new heroes, Emphys Nest, Kira, Greedo, and the End Num, will be showing up in this season. Two of those being from the new solo film, and two of those from the O's Outer Rim DLC, which ties in with the content we are seeing in May. Currently, I'm really not sure who, if anyone, is being added, but in a season I'd expect to at least see some new heroes. No heroes have been teased by DICE so far, so if we don't get any pop-up in June, and this post from Martiger proves to be true as it already has, I will be extremely disappointed as will most of the community. I seriously hope that is not the case. Further to this he said, the new map from the new planet will be a small size one and it will have tunnels similar to the first phase from Crate. The other leaker says this will be the Kessel Mines. And then he tells us, Geonosis will come much later at the end of summer, zero chances for it to come before August. So from that, as expected, the Clone Wars season will arrive around August in line with the anniversary of the animated Clone Wars film. The question now being, will we even get to see Obi-Wan and Grievous in this game? I don't know how to answer that at this point, it's in the dev's hands. I will post the other main leak I've seen on the screen right now as it's a bit more positive, but since none of this has proven true yet, I'm more inclined to believe Martiger with his post. I do hope most of these details shared by the Redditor Star Wars Battlefront 2 solo info actually come true though, as then along with the details we've already heard from the community transmission, it overall should be quite a good season. Basically what I hope to see in total is 4 new legendary skins, 1 new rare skin, Jabba's Palace available in several modes, the Kessel Mines Galactic Assault map, a new map for Starfighter Assault, at least two new heroes, Kira and Emphys Nest, a couple new game modes, Hero Showdown and the Return of Extraction, no holograms available for everyone as an option, and finally, new milestones for us all to complete. Maybe I'm just being too hopeful once again. Let me know what you think. I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know many of you won't have seen this Reddit post, so I wanted to share it with all of you, give you my thoughts and get some of yours. So let me know what you think of these leaked details in the comments. As always guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Sucker.